My emotionally unstable wife forced me to open our marriage, but when I found my own partner, she started demanding we close it and begged me me to take her back. I remember my wife asked me to open our marriage, and though I tried to say no, she gave me an ultimatum. Either I agree to this, or we're divorcing. I gave in, and very soon, she started going on dates, and even got in a relationship with her manager. I remember catching them in our bed. I exploded at her, telling her she broke the one rule we had. She called me gullible in front of him, then told me, rules are meant to be broken, before getting dressed and leaving with him. That night I decided to start seeing other people too, and that's when I met Charlotte. I fell hard and started dating her, and seeing this flipped a switch in my wife. She started cooking for me again, initiating in bed, being the perfect wife. A year ago this would have meant the world to me, but now I truly didn't care. My spark for her was dead. All I wanted was Charlotte. That's why when she came begging to close the marriage, I refused. She broke down crying, and went to bed in tears that day. I knew I needed to talk to her. So the next day after we both had finished work, I sat her down. I wanted to talk to her, and I told her to be honest with me, and tell me what inspired all this. She had told me it was her work friend group previously, and she remained consistent in that answer. However, she added some details that I didn't know. So not only did her work friend group plant the idea of the open marriage because my wife missed out due to us being together since middle school, but they also encouraged my wife to start an emotional affair with the new hot manager who showed up at her workplace, the one I caught her in bed with. Apparently they encouraged my wife to live free. Apparently my wife took a liking to the manager due to his encouragement, and it all developed into an emotional affair, but it only got physical once the marriage opened. She described it as being intoxicated behind the wheel of a speeding car, it was thrilling and intoxicating, but the price of this decision has become too much for her to bear. She sees now that she never needed a comparison, that what we had was truly unique and special, but now she feels like she destroyed our marriage and any chance of a life together. I told her I might not ever be able to see her as my wife again, and this made her break down in front of me. I simply held her in silence as she cried until she fell asleep in my arms on the couch. She has since left her job and cut off contact with all her friends and her manager, and even told me she's willing to spend the rest of her life making it up to me and working her fingers to the bone to be seen as a wife by me, but I haven't cut contact with my lover. Charlotte quite frankly makes me feel like a man, like I can challenge the world, and my wife hasn't in a while. We have our first marriage counseling session in a couple of hours, not sure how that will go. Update 1. My wife and I went to marriage counseling to deal with potentially closing the relationship back up. Even though it was our very first session, my wife took it as an opportunity to lay it all out, it seems. She confessed that this group of friends made her wonder if she had missed her chance because she was committed to her first boyfriend and had no other experiences that she never had the same adventures some of these supposedly amazing women had. The therapist pointed out that this can be and often is detrimental to a marriage due to the difference in mindset. My wife seemed to agree, then added that after the new manager started approaching her, some of these friends encouraged her to see where it goes, that this was a chance for her to explore or discover herself. She states she felt guilty, so she never did anything physical until one of the divorced beluga-sized friends in the group suggested an open marriage as a loophole. She told her that some couples come out stronger because of it. So after regrettably convincing me to open up the marriage her so-called adventure began, it was intoxicating and blinding but lacked real substance, not like the kind we built over the years, and she started to question her reasons for doing this. She said she could see the hurt in my eyes, but told herself this was an adventure. She had a chance to have an amazing experience, so the gravity of it all never happened, until she noticed a change in me. At first, she assumed that because I went on dates, I would gradually accept her situation and be okay with it. But that all changed when my lover became a constant appearance in my adventure. Apparently I started to smile again for no reason, and my eyes would light up when I would get a text message, or when I cheerfully left the room to answer a call. She said she suddenly felt a pit in her stomach and started to get mini panic attacks for no reason. She went to her friends for advice again, but they said it was a normal reaction for me to have during the adventure. When the same divorced beluga who suggested this in the first place said, it looks like his lover makes him happy, is when the reality of it all finally dawned on her, and the very real possibility that another woman and not his wife gave him joy, almost made her pass out. She realized how ridiculous this all was, and begged them to help her win me back, but they just told her if she couldn't deal with it, why did she open her marriage in the first place? She knew then and there that these people were toxic, a threat to our marriage, and the life we built. Hence, she's been on a mission to win me back by any means necessary. I, on the other hand, didn't share much, but I did let the counselor know about the situation on my side with my lover still being in the picture. To this, my counselor said no resolution could ever be reached with my lover still in the picture, and suggested we book another appointment after tomorrow. The counselor did say it was unusual for someone to stay with their first this long, and gave the impression that any storm can be weathered. Our next session is tomorrow. Update 2. I have since moved into my brother's apartment. During our second session of counseling, I asked my wife some hard questions. 1. If she was sure nothing physical happened before the opening of the marriage, she looked towards the ground and begged me not to make her say it. She said, if she said it, then it would destroy us, but after some pushing, she shared it. 
She had got on her knees in his office and gave him neck. I was absolutely floored by this, and she started shaking and hyperventilating. Snot even began flowing from her nostrils as she cried and apologized to me. At this point, even the counselor was taken aback and had a look of disbelief. My wife got on her knees and hugged my legs, saying how sorry she was. I then asked her what really changed her view of him. She said after she started pulling back from the group as a whole, his behavior towards her changed. Then one evening as she was leaving a meeting, she passed his office and heard him speaking about her to another male colleague. He said he was surprised at how easy it was to get her and how she is living proof that you can't trust the quiet ones. When the colleague asked if he actually fancied her, his response was that she was a pleasant distraction and that he had absolutely no intention of breaking up with his fiance. He even added that this was simply to get it out of his system because the only woman who has ever understood him was his fiance and he didn't want to break up with her. He also mentioned how he felt bad for me but you snooze you lose. My wife, realizing that she was nothing more than a piece of meat to this man, added by the fact that she betrayed me for a cheap thrill, actually started contemplating taking her own life. She said she left her workplace and vomited in the parking lot. I then asked her if she loved him and if she stopped loving me. She looked me dead in the eye through tears and said she never stopped loving me and that he was just something different. She thought it was love but now realizes how foolish that was. She squeezed my arm with surprising strength and said she knows she messed up but she misses us. She says she misses the connection we had before all this. She even suggested we move away and start fresh, just the two of us, just as it was meant to be. I then told her it wouldn't be fair to my lover and that I need time away from her to process all of this. It was like she had a meltdown at those words. She started sobbing harder and saying incoherent things. She held on to me as if I was going to disappear. It took some time for both me and the counselor to calm her down. The counselor managed to convince her that maybe time apart could help us heal. When we got home, I began to pack. My wife got a video call from her laptop. It was one of her former friends in tears. It turns out that after my wife resigned, this friend and the manager began a fling of their own. But apparently, she had a pregnancy scare which caused him to basically turn into Dr. Hyde and Mr. Jekyll. To make matters worse, she had a boyfriend whom she apparently could see a future with him, and the only reason why she even had a fling was because she was curious of the experience. Her boyfriend found out because he discovered an email between the two discussing the potential pregnancy, but the manager basically accused her of baby trapping him. Of course he left her, and the reason why she made contact is because she was under the impression that my wife managed to save our marriage and was desperately seeking advice. I just turned and left and have been staying in the apartment ever since. Update 3. Turns out, the former friend who had the pregnancy scare with the manager was indeed pregnant. However, the stress of losing her boyfriend and being humiliated by the affair caused her to lose the baby. She basically turned ballistic and went full scorched earth on the manager. She exposed him to all upper management and his fiance, who left him. The former friend actually got in contact with me. She wanted my side of the story because she was collecting evidence against him, but she wanted to do it in person, and I agreed. From the moment I saw her face, I knew she was broken. The dark circles under her eyes and her red-colored iris clearly showed she didn't get any sleep and was haunted by her own thoughts. She thanked me for agreeing to meet her and immediately apologized for her role in my wife's adventure. It turns out her and my wife spoke again, and that's when she learned I had moved out. She didn't shift the blame and wanted to take responsibility, hence why she wanted to meet in person. I thanked her for her efforts but asked her why she would go this far. She said losing both a child and the love of her life changed who she was at the core. She said she can hardly look in the mirror without feeling disgust, and she can hardly sleep because all she sees is her ex's face the day he found out. This woman clearly hated herself, and this meeting might have been a form of punishment for her. She tells me since fraternizing among co-workers is a breach of conduct, and more so because he was in a position of influence, he will most likely be fired and possibly blacklisted from that field as a whole, but the same may be true for her as well, and she has accepted it. She left after getting my side of the story and apologized again. I needed to get a few things from the old place, so I picked a time when I thought my wife wasn't home. Unfortunately, she was there, but what surprised me is that she had most of our wedding photos out on the coffee table, as well as others, and she was staring at them. When she noticed me, I could see she was crying. She tried to hug me, but I gently pushed her aside. She tried to offer me lunch, but I told her I wasn't hungry and that I wouldn't be long. I just needed a few things. Before I could proceed, she said she had something to show me. She pulled out her phone and showed me a message she received two days ago from her former manager who berated her. It was from a new number since she blocked his old one. Apparently my wife helped her former friend expose him to all relevant parties and he was fuming. She thought by exposing the secret she was removing its power, as well as giving us a fighting chance. I told her I was glad that she had the courage to do that, but it doesn't change anything between us. I also informed her that I will be stopping marriage counseling, but will do individual counseling instead. This made her sob softly, and she said she understood. I know I am supposed to feel either elation of the actions taken, or rage, because it took this long, but I feel numb towards her. This isn't normal, hence why I want to address it in individual counseling, and not marriage counseling. I have also seen a divorce lawyer at my brother's recommendation just to be safe. As of now, I am not really willing to fight for this marriage, and it seems my wife can sense it. Before I left, she tried to initiate 
intimacy, but when I refused, she yelled and asked what Charlotte does for me that she can't. She said this in a voice so loud I am sure the neighbors heard. I shook my head and told her if she still couldn't tell after all that's happened, then it's clear where our marriage is headed and left. 